you're joined now by Chris Lawrence live at the Pentagon. Uh, Chris, you've received information on an intelligence report that has possible evidence of a chemical weapons attack. What have you found out so far? That's right. Uh, we expect that sometime later today that uh, U.S. officials will release their own intelligence report that they say will prove that the Syrian regime did use chemical weapons. Uh, I am told that the information in that report has already been shared with senior Obama administration officials and that they were in the process of making a declassified version. They said the proof will come in the form of intercepted communications between Syrian army officials as well as what he called forensic evidence. Uh, uh, previously, a U.S. official had told me that tissue samples and other evidence were taken from the scene of that attack in the hours and days following and were taken to a secure location for analysis. Why is this important? Because the American people have a very fresh memory of the lead up to the war in Iraq when officials came forward, testified, said there was evidence of chemical weapons being used there in Iraq, which turned out not to be the case. That's why the, the, the people are going to want to see some sort of proof if the U.S. is going to move forward without a U.N. mandate. Now, officials are telling us that while they're consulting with their allies internationally, they may be able to move forward without a formal coalition, but they would like to have some support from their Arab partners. That's why Secretary of State John Kerry has been on the phone with the foreign ministers of Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Jordan. He's been talking to the Secretary General of the Arab League, trying to bring in more broader support so if the U.S. does act, it is not seen as a unilateral action.